Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Alex to Victory here. As today, it is time for the Carabao Cup semi-finals against Tottenham. Of course, last season in the Carabao Cup's final we got to in the semis we took out Southampton. But Tottenham, a much tougher challenge. Tottenham, the, the toughest team remaining, really. But fingers crossed, I mean we're above them in the table, so fingers crossed we can overcome them here. Uh, we got the games in Tottenham. We got the FA Cup against Coventry in between. I'll do that off camera, of course, and let you know how it goes. Small bit of news in the meantime, though. Transfers have gone through. Transfers we must talk about. Of course, the transfer discussed last episode finally come true. As Eric Martel, the German centre half, has finally left the club. We wish him the best. Very good. Crucial in our promotion campaign. Him and Retzos' partnership was beautiful. Bought for a million, sold on exchange. We wish him the best of luck in Spain. But of course, it was an exchange. And so we do have a name coming in. Miguel Gutierrez, the former Real Madrid left-back, signed from Real San Sebastian, Real Sociedad, I want to say. 24 years old, 7 under 21 caps. Highly valued, 47 grand a week. Very good looking young, uh, not just, you know, his face, his stat-wise, very good-looking young Spanish fullback, providing some competition for Tavares on the left-hand side as well. Very, very happy. Our wing-back areas, because we got, on the left, we got Gutierrez and Tavares now, on the right, we got Bogle, and, God, I'm so bad at names. Uh, well, let me just get into the thing. Come on, Bogle, and he's literally our first choice. Cambioso, I'm so bad at remembering names, apologies. Very happy. Robert Coopers comes onto the bench as a backup for center R position. Team-wise, it's like this. Gunnison and Goldback for Cambioso, Retzos, Clara, and Gutierrez making his debut. Midfield of Konza, Harania, and Samarzic with Garcia in with a knock. Uh, Nura and Hlozek on the wings. Adam Ida up top. It's a good team. Nura had a strong performance in his debut. Hopefully, he'll do another. Hopefully, a good game for Gutierrez here. Adjusting to this 11. And fingers crossed... We can set ourselves up. It's the home leg. It's at the Valley. So you want to get to a good start in the semi-final. Hopefully we can do that. Without further ado, let's get into the game. Gutierrez with the throw to Holojek. Konsa into Rainia. Goes back to Retzos. Retzos to Rainia. Rainia goes wide to Nura. Back to Retzos. Rainia. All the way back to Gunnison now. Gunnison goes to Retzos. Retzos to Cambioso. Move my mouse. To Nura. Passing the ball around well here. We've got to start moving forward. Consa, Clara. We're going across. Gutierrez to Holojek. Holojek back to Gutierrez. Gutierrez going forward. Through ball to Holojek. Good ball. Holojek crosses in. Finds his way to Nura. To Rainier. Has a go from distance. Wide at the post. A good move. Keeping the ball. Moving it from side to side until the opportunity presents itself. Uh, Rainier from that distance. I don't know if I'd, I'd like him shooting. But still on top of the moment stat wise as well. I'm happy. First real chance of the game. Hopefully, we can craft another one out and we can capitalise. Everton 2-0 up against Brighton, by the way. So, I mean, Everton taking a good lead in their semi-final as well. Half-time, 0-0. We are on top stat-wise. They've had two shots, none on target, 0.12 XG. We've only had 0.42, but we've had eight shots. We've had 53% possession. Pretty close game. We're on top, though. You know, lads, uh, I'm actually relatively happy so far. So, keep it up. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. And, yeah, let's, let's beat Tottenham. Frying Gutierrez, deep in our half, goes to Clara. Going to have to build right from the back here. Clara to Retzos, to Konza to Retzos. Clara goes to Samardzic, Hlozhek, Gutierrez, Hlozhek, Samardzic. Samardzic, through ball, Alamida in behind, Alamida. Shots well saved as Tottenham managed to get it away. A good chance though. We're still on the ball, we could still create something. Nura cuts inside. Nura to Samardzic smashes wide once again, but a good move again. We're getting the better of the chances. We're creating the better of the chances. You just got to keep pushing and keep pressing here. 57th minute. I'm going to make the change. Logic's, you know, he's, I, I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Logic. He's got, he's linking up well with Gutierrez as well. What I'm going to do though is move Adam Ida to the left-hand side where he's played quite a lot. And then we're going to bring on the man. So nice. What did they do? They named him twice. Rodrigo Rodriguez up top. 75th minute. I'm going to make a couple changes here. Cambios is really tired on a yellow. I want to sure up that defence and pressing forward. So Jane Bogle comes on. And in addition of all the changes, I think I'm going to go with Adam Ida coming off. 
I'm kind of mulling over it a little bit. Uh, oh god, Adam Ida could come off. I don't know who I'd move there. Oh god, this is tough. Um, Ida or Rhinia. Rhinia could be the shout. Um, god, I'm indecisive. Adam Ida comes off. And in his place, we bring on... God. Gabriel Vidovic. Is that the move? Is that the play? Very strong. Inverted. Alright, well, and he goes inverted wing of support. And Nura turns to an inside forward support. No, he says two inverted wing of support. Is what we're going to do. 82nd minute. Ryan here. Very tired. Going to make way. And let's bring on Tom Bischoff in his place. Okay, 86 minutes. We're making a lot of changes at the end. No, we don't have any more changes left, actually. Full time at the Valley. Nil nil. We are we well on top. 55% possession, 1.19 XG, 16 shots. Tottenham bricking it though. A brick house. A, they parked the bus. There you go. That's the terminology I wanted. Still a strong performance, especially defensively. Clara, good as ever. Gutierrez, 6.9. I'm happy for his first game. You know, he's arrived this morning, so that's pretty good. Defensively, really sturdy. Going forward. We had chances, we didn't take advantage of them really, but still had some good opportunities. Evan won 2-0 two, two as well, still. So got to keep pressing. Uh, I'm going to rotate the team a lot for that game against Coventry, of course. I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, hopefully we cruise through in the FA Cup, fingers crossed, don't want to jinx it. And then we'll be back for the second leg against Tottenham. And before the game against Tottenham, Coventry in the FA Cup, 3-0 win. Fully rotate 11 really, Plachetta, Dobson, Rodrigo Rodriguez with the goals. Nice and easy. Blackburn in the fourth round to come. Another championship team. Hopefully into the fifth round we'll go. But for now, a different competition, of course. The Carabao Cup. We are back to 0-0 in the first leg against Tottenham. Team-wise, as this... Oh, my God. Football manager is so dreadful when it comes to remembering your changes. I don't know if anyone else has this problem. It's just so bad. It never remembers anything if you leave the screen. And it's so annoying. Is this the team I wanted? Dobson comes in. I feel like I made other changes. Yeah. Ida on the wing. Rodrigo Rodriguez up top. And I think that's all I wanted. Yeah. Edgery Consta suspended. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rodrigo Rodriguez up top. Adam Ida on the wing. And hopefully we can get the win. Is that Tottenham? But still, fingers crossed, we're on our way to the Carabao Cup. Fingers crossed we're on our way to the Carabao Cup final. There you go. A little bit of a tongue twister for me. <laughs> oh, God. Without further ado, let's just get into the game. And I've just looked at my OPS, and I, I don't know how much of that I actually caught. I think my mic got unplugged or something at some point. Uh, you really didn't miss much. A 3-1 defeat to Tottenham. It was an awful performance, just to be frank with you. They went 3-0 up. Balogun scored in the 91st minute. He scored two other goals when he was clearly miles offside. I don't know why he was just standing there, though. Yeah, we didn't deserve to win that. We had our chances over the two legs, especially in the first leg. And we just wasted all of them at the end of the day. So we only have ourselves to blame for this. It's just annoying and disappointing. But what are you going to do? We will not be in the Carabao Cup final this year. FA Cup though. We're still in that. Fingers crossed we can do well. Uh, but that is going to be it for today. Next episode. Uh, we'll try and bounce back from this disappointment against. I'm looking for the games. We've got a Champions League coming up. We're still in the market, so I'll say it like this. Deadline day is still a thing, so maybe we come back for Norwich and Blackburn, do some FA Cup, and we've got deadline day as well. I don't know if we're going to do anything on deadline day, so we'll see. Around that point, though, especially if we have something going on on deadline day. That is it for today, though. Carabao Cup disappointment, but you know what? In the semi-final again, that's something at the very least, isn't it? We'll just remember those good old days of the 3-0 against United, among others. Oh, fingers crossed it gets better, though, next episode. Really hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you have and you're enjoying the series, then please do leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll try and make sure that the, you know, the mic and stuff is actually recording in the future. As always, though, I just want to say thank you for watching. <laughs>